Folks, Randy Go Trout Mag Man with you here today. Uh, it's been a, a nice evening yesterday down at VFW Lake. Uh, got into a bunch of crappie. They weren't, uh, you know, no 12, 13 inch crappie. And VFW Lake's not the place to go to catch crappie, that's for sure. But uh, caught a bunch, uh, 10, 10 and a half inches. Had a lot of fun. Uh, went after bluegill. Couldn't, couldn't find the bluegill. I did catch two, but that was it. What made the day so fun, folks, was this rod. The Eradicator Slow Taper Special. And what's so special about this rod, and I, of course I'm just putting this info out there for you uh, tackle enthusiasts who are looking to buy a JDM rod. This rod is slow action. Now usually, not usually, 99% of the time, slow action rods are dead. They don't have any sensitivity. But this thing is sensitive off the charts. It casts like a dream. It gives you a lot of fun. I mean, it is just a superb, superb rod. I am just crazy about this rod. And the reel that matches up with the rod, I didn't know what to expect of this reel when I ordered it, and I've told you all that before, but uh, this reel manages line, the ester line, the polyester line, better than any reel I've got. Uh, better than the uh, Presso Limited, better than the uh, Luvius, all of them. Uh, just something about it. I don't know what it is, uh, but it's, it's good. It's very good. And this rod gave me a lot of fun with those fish. Uh, so if you're looking for a bluegill rod uh, that will give you a lot of fun but can detect the faintest, faintest bite, the uh, Abu Garcia Eradicator Real Finesse Slow Taper Special, six foot seven model, it'll do it for you. These fish I caught were in eight feet of water, and they were hanging over what I have seen on the sonar out there before, just off the bank there, it's just a little, I would call it a twig. It's, it's no more than a branch. Uh, it's kind of a Y shape. I've seen it on the sonar before. I mean, there's nothing to it. It's, you, you can't even hardly get hung up on it unless you just hit the thing just dead on. And I mean, it's just, there's not much to it. But it goes to show you that crappie don't need much to hang on to. Uh, and the crappie were stacked in there. I caught three dozen crappie off that pile uh, now the video is not going to be that long because there's no need to show you a bunch of uh, same size fish but uh, they were stacked on that thing and uh, I had a ball pulling them off there I mean it was an absolute absolute ball uh, I used the uh, sow bug and bison colored trout magnet on a one gram Daiwa Geckman jig head with a number eight hook uh, it was just just a, a wonderful wonderful few hours of fishing hadn't been able to get out much uh, the weather doctor's appointments Doing a little bit of very slight remodeling here at the house and some of the bathrooms. Uh, and so I haven't been able to get out much. But that's got to change. I mean, it's got to change for me because I need to be fishing, folks. I appreciate all the support. Appreciate all of you watching. Uh, and uh, we're going to gonna get out and do some more fishing. So until next time, soil up them all and life is good. Here we go. Here we go, folks. Here we go. First fish of the afternoon. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh yeah, he's 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 digging. <laughs> oh man. Yes sir, it's a nice fish. Shoot fire. What you talking about? Yes sir, I'll take them all day long now. Yes sir. Yes sir, that's that's a beautiful fish. Yes sir. Let's get him back in the water. Not a bad bluegill, not not the best by any stretch of the imagination, but it's a fish. Fat little fish. Let's get him back in the water. And here we go, here we go, folks. Oh yeah, shoot fire. What you talking about now? Yes, sir, what you talking about now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What you talking about now? Yes, sir. Look at here. Would you look at here? What has showed up down here? I'll be darned. Where did the where did the line go? There it is. Set this rod down. Let's 
joker done got caught up in this net my g-cat has there it goes okay look at there mr. crappie that's a healthy crappie about 10 inches 10 and a half maybe it's a nice fish here we go here we go folks what we got here? I think we got another crappie on here. Yes, sir, we do. We sure do. Little old crappie. Little old crappie. I'm gonna lift him up. I shouldn't do that though. With this rod. Simmer down here. Simmer down. Yes, sir, I got a little old crappie there. All right. There he is, another crappie. That's another crappie right there, folks. That's another crappie. Another crappie. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Another crappie. Another crappie. Get my handy dandy little net on this joker here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Set that rod down. Oops. I tell you what now. That ain't a bad crappie. That ain't a bad crappie. Another 10, 10 and a half incher. Shoot, fire. There he is. There he is. Another crappie. Another crappie. There he is. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. On the eradicator. He ain't so big I can't. Well, I shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have done that. Not with this rod. Looks like I found a spot with some crappie on it, folks. These legal fish. All right. There he is. There he is. Oh, it's good fish here. It's good fish here. Well, he's better, better than the others. I got him on top now. Yes, sir. I'll tell you, folks. Now, as crappie go, these ain't no. But on the on this equipment I'm using, this is a lot of fun. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. Come on now, stay up there. Let's get this joker out of here. Come on now. What, what done happened to this thing? And once again, he's... He's hung up in the net too. There we go. Fat crappie, now that's not a legal fish, that's only about an eight and a half, nine inch fish there, but hey, it's a lot of fun. There he is, there he is, there he is, another crappie, another crappie. Right off this point here. Let me get him up here. Yes, sir. Like I say, folks, they ain't much, but there's a lot of them, a whole lot of them. That's pretty fish. Pretty fish. 